We have student coach back at USC who help us preparing for the contest and all that, but we don't have an on-site coach. So after that, I thought, you know, I might as well become the on-site coach so that uh, the contestants can concentrate on competing and I can help with the logistics and all that. I'm always excited with ICPC and when, well, when helping some other students to prepare to it, I always well, tell them how it was, how was my experience the years I was participating. We give them some tips on what to do and what not to do during the contest. For example, that they should not look at the ranking too often because this can distract them. Once you get into the competitions, you know, what are the, the matters in question of pressure, what makes you do mistakes on the competition, so you can try to make them happen in an actual practice in order to get a, a better result on the regionals, on the world finals. It's uh, very important for a coach to understand the process, uh, how it's going uh, uh, on the contest floor because there are a lot of tricks like uh, which time you should uh, consult the scoreboard or something like that. Make sure to be resilient, fight through the whole contest, make sure you uh, know exactly, um, like regardless of what goes on, try to uh, make it so that regardless of what day you're competing, you, uh, you can give your best performance. Follow the 2015 World Finals at icpcnews.com and be sure to check out my ICPC.